Here's a cool little tip that you probably didn't know about in regards to changing your brush size in Blender. But the best part is that it also applies to ZBrush, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, the default way of changing a brush size in Blender is by tapping the F key, moving your stylus, and then tapping your stylus onto the tablet to confirm that new size. So I made that sound a bit more tedious than it actually is. It's not that big of a deal, but we can make it better. So if we go to our Blender preferences, key map, key binding, and we search for the F key, and then just scroll all the way down until we find this sculpt category, and here it is, radial control F. And we're looking for confirm on release, so I'm gonna enable it. By the way, this should apply to other tools that also use radial control, for example, uh, vertex painting. But right now I'm only interested in sculpting, so I'm just gonna minimize this. And now to change my brush size, you hold down the F key, move your stylus and confirm by letting go of the F key. So there's no more clicking or tapping involved. You can just hover your stylus the entire time and it, it's just so much more natural. I definitely recommend you try it out before you just dismiss it. It just feels really, really good. And you also have a similar setting in ZBrush, but here you'll find it under preferences, interface, click, and it's called sticky keys. So this is the equivalent of enabling confirm on release in Blender. So I'll just turn it on. I actually like to turn the slider down all the way as well, but for this example, it'll be fine. So like similarly, just hold down the S key and move your stylus. There's no clicking involved and let go to confirm. Again, this is kind of personal, but I think if you give it a chance, you'll just fall in love with this behavior.